gonna talk about an easy way to achieve back tension. Um, I did some research on the form uh, in Korean traditional archery, and if you notice, uh, if you look it up, one of the first steps in their shot cycle is to bring the bow arm up above their hip. There's a reason for that. And if you also look at Olympic archers, more specifically the, the Korean team, they, they tend to lift their bow arm a little higher than the rest of the world, I guess. If you look at other Olympic, Olympic archers, uh, the Koreans tend to lift their bow arm a little higher. And there's a reason for that. Um, we'll, we'll go into detail after I shoot a little bit and go inside and I'll explain it. The uh, kinesthesiology of it, I believe that's the correct word. Uh, like the bone structures and the alignment and what's going on there and the reason for that. Uh, so let's take a few shots. So we're gonna shoot the Bear Montana longbow. Show you, uh, take a few shots with this. Show the same concept, lifting the arm up. sight on my target. My bow and my arrow goes from up to down. I'm coming down onto my target then I release. Some people are coming up and then release on the target. I know it's either one or the other. My argument is you should be coming down and there's a reason for that and there's a reason why a lot of Olympic archers pretty much are all coming down onto the target, especially the Koreans. Um, let's try a little exercise. Take your arms, take your hands, put them out. Keep them below your shoulder line and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feel that back tension. Raise your arms, level. Do the same thing. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and feel that back tension. Now, raise your hands 
above your head or, or and now squeeze your shoulder blades together you feel that do you feel how much more they come together once your hands and your arms are lifted above you can feel it in your shoulder right here once you go up something just kind of pops down there's like a the connection between your shoulder and your shoulder blade changes at that point. It's just like the nature of the joint. They almost unhinge, so your shoulder blades can come together more once your arms go up. So to bring your bow arm up, it's putting your shoulder blade in that position. So when you're coming back down on the target, you are in a better position to engage that back tension. So if you try that exercise again, just bring your arms level and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Bring them up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep them together. Then bring your arms back down. You notice how your shoulder blades will stay in that position once your arms go up? But if you don't bring them all the way up and try to do that, you can't get your shoulder blades to connect. You need to bring your arms up for that to happen in your body, for your range of motion to change. So that is the whole purpose, bringing the bow arm up. And that's why you see a lot of Korean shooters bringing up higher than most other shooters because they're engaging that shoulder blade to get in that position for the most efficient back tension. The easier you can get into that position of back tension, the less stress you can put on your body to get into that. It's less energy expended to get into that position, which means you have less tension in your body and in your form, which makes the shot easier. And you can be more relaxed once you get to the position to hold. Just my two cents.